What's up guys, Savannah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you eight motivational hacks that I use when overwhelm and stress start to kill my drive. If you're someone who's super busy yet falls into demoralized do nothing slumps, then definitely keep on watching. This week at Blissful Bohemian, we're talking about motivation. If you didn't catch the content on my other platforms, the blog, Facebook group, and Instagram account, go check those out. Definitely subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell. I put out new videos every Thursday. The first hack I have for you is by Tony Robbins and it is to stand up straight. Taking a power position is going to boost your motivation and I'll tell you why. So we know that the mind and body work hand in hand and we know that we can feel the physical repercussions of our mental problems, but we don't usually use it the other way around. So what we're doing here is we're setting the body in a certain position to trick the mind. So by taking a power stance with good posture, maybe if you wanna take it another step forward, put your hands like, at your hips or just stand up tall maybe do a little I don't know what that was. Uh. <laughs> By doing this, you are going to trick your mind into thinking that you're already being productive, taking charge, being the man or woman, and you'll already gain some motivation. Your mind is gonna think, hey, I'm standing up tall. This must mean that I'm doing something important. Let's kick it into high gear. Motivational hack number two is to chug a coffee and then take a power nap. The caffeine's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes to kick in, and this is the perfect amount amount of time to take that nice cat nap. Get a coffee, set your alarm for 20 to 30 minutes, chug that bee, and sit down, close your eyes, take a nice little nap, and when you wake up, you're gonna feel that extra zing of the caffeine coming into your bloodstream. Hack number three is to just do one thing. Hear me out for what I mean by this. You probably have a like super long to-do list. I know that I get overly ambitious with my to-do list, so here's what you do. Take your ridiculously long to-do list, and figure out what is the number one priority on that list. Take that task out, go outside, look at the beautiful trees and the skies, and I don't know what you're into, bugs, birds, whatever makes you happy. I like flowers. Look at them and take some deep belly breaths. I'm talking about the breaths that you breathe in so deeply that you feel your belly expand like you just ate a burrito. When you're done breathing and looking at the pretty nice things and you got some breeze through your hair, take that one task and resolve to go inside, take the rest of the list out of your mind and just do that one thing. Just this one thing. When you're done, go back outside and take the next thing from the list. Do your belly breaths, look around, and go back inside with the resolution that you're just gonna do that one task. This is something that I personally do to get over ridiculously long, overwhelming to-do lists where you kind of feel like, what do I do first? Everything is important, everything has to get done, ha! Ah! And then you don't actually do anything, so that's of no use. And of course, remember, if you don't finish everything, your life's not gonna end. Oh, Savannah, well, what if uh, the two things on my list are to feed all of my animals? What if I don't feed the rest of them? Okay, sure, but 99% of the time, if you don't finish your to-do list today, you're gonna be fine. You're doing the best that you can. Hack number four is the two minute rule. If there's a task that can be done in two minutes or fewer, do it now. Always. If that task is putting away dishes and you can do it under two minutes, do it. If it's taking out the trash, do it. If it takes two minutes, just do it now. Think of how minuscule two minutes is in the grand course of your entire life. It's literally nothing. Stack up and get it done. Hack number five is to use the law of rhythm. So you might notice that you have natural patterns. This is where you really have to be self-observant and honest with yourself. Don't try to wake up at five in the morning if you're a night owl. And don't plan a bunch of crap for the weekend if you know that you never do stuff on the weekend except relax and have fun, which is totally okay. You should definitely be doing that. What I'm saying is recognize Recognize your natural patterns and plan accordingly. By working and taking into consideration this law of rhythm, you're going to be more productive in the long run. Why if on every Sunday in the past I've done zip, would I continue to schedule stuff to be done on Sunday? That just makes no sense. I need to be cognizant and work around this natural rhythm of mine. That is my rest day. Hack number six is to get a little bit of exercise. When you feel like ridiculously overwhelmed, like you have a weight on your chest and you just can't breathe and you can't figure out what to do and you're like, ah, freaking out, take that out of your brain. I know it's hard, but just physically, like if you have to do like a motion, like remove it, put it on the shelf for just a moment, release up your sneakers, 
Go out, get your bike, get a friend, go walk. This is gonna help you feel better because you're going to get endorphins from exercise, serotonin from the sun, getting sunlight if it is daytime, and you're also going to get negative ions from being outside, and especially if you're by a moving water source. These three things together is like a total feel-good cocktail, which you need if you're feeling down and slumped and like you can't get anything done. Literally 10 to 20 minutes is all you need, even five minutes, like just go outside, take some deep breaths, get some exercise, have that feel good cocktail come into you and then go back inside. Hack number seven is to journal. If you don't have a journal, it's fine. You can use like iNotes on your phone. You can write on Google Docs, anything that you are writing. And then once you have them down on pen and paper, you can write some positive affirmations and do some thought reversal with them. Hack number eight is to realize that motivation is irrelevant. If you haven't read my blog post about that, definitely go check it out below. It's irrelevant when ish has to get done, period. If you're looking to get some exercise, next week we're talking about weightlifting and I'm posting a full body at home workout here on this YouTube channel. I am a certified personal trainer of five years. Don't forget to give this video a like, and if you want to learn more about how to live a more natural, holistic, healthy lifestyle, then definitely check out one of these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching, have a blissful day, and I'll see you in the next one.